Tonight's main story, racial bias. We had a good eight years, but it turns out racial bias is still a thing. How is this still a thing? Many researchers are doing fantastic work trying to identify the strongest and the longest lasting interventions to reduce racial bias. But in light of the fact that racial bias exists against so many different groups, in my lab, we were asking a slightly different question. Do anti-bias interventions that target one group generalize to other groups? If an intervention reduces stereotyping of black people, does it also reduce stereotyping of Hispanics and Asians? We also realized we needed to take an intersectional approach, which means, among many things, that we wanted to reduce bias against both men and women. Most research attempts to reduce bias at the group level, which means researchers are attempting to reduce bias against black people or Asian people or Hispanic people. And the assumption is that the intervention reduces bias against the men and women of that group equally. But there are reasons to think that may not be true. Let's focus on black people to start. One, research shows that when people think of a black person, they tend to imagine a black man. And two, people tend to list the same stereotypes for black people and black men, but list very different stereotypes for black women. So we can't assume that an intervention that targets black people or black men will generalize to black women. Yet I think that is what we tend to do. So I propose an initial well-powered study to systematically investigate how anti-bias interventions influence how we think about black men and black women. In this study, participants will be randomly assigned to either negate or reinforce stereotypes against black people, black men, or black women. Then rather than simply measure stereotypes of black people, we will assess stereotyping of black people and black men and black women. This will let us determine whether negating stereotypes about black people also reduces stereotypes about black men and black women, or just black men. Negating stereotypes about black men also reduces stereotyping of black women. And negating stereotypes about black women also reduces stereotyping of black men. So by taking an intersectional approach, this research not only has the potential to tell us something fundamental about social categorization, but can also lead to the creation of improved anti-bias interventions.